Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we got some progress on the 32 Ford we've been working on. And um, I got to the point where we can uh, show you some more progress. Um, so far, so good. Cross your fingers. Knock on wood. She's not finished yet, so... Never say that was easy or, boy, that was a breeze until you're done sitting down, laying back, having a beer, and then you say, you know what? That was pretty easy. Anyway... We're getting on the, on the home stretch here, boys and girls. All right, let's show you where we are. Uh, we got paint on this baby. We've got our two-tone paint on it. Uh, blue on the bottom, silver, gray on the top. And we got motor in place. Got a little throttle cable on there. Made a little return spring. Got my distributor mounted. Uh, upper rad hose in place. I still got to uh, make some little clamps and slide them on there. Um, got pulleys mounted on the motor. And a belt run, looking pretty good. And we got headers in there, and I told you that uh, when you run spark plug wires in this particular model, you got no room for spark plug wires, so they disappear underneath the, underneath the headers, and we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it that. The only people that are going to know is me and you guys. Um, suspension's ready to go. Uh, interior's pretty much done. Looking pretty good, actually. Paint turned out nice. Uh, wheels, you saw the wheels before, whoops, look out. Wheels turn out good, I'm happy with those. Still got a few little details, I haven't made up my mind on, uh, what, um, air cleaner I'm going to run on this, either one of my machined aluminum ones or one of the 3D, uh, printed ones that I, that I print on the website. Um, got radiator. And grill in place and got one of my little uh, 3d printed electric uh, fans on there that's ready to go uh, interiors done rear seats in place I can do this without the seat falling off hang on back up look out, back up back up look out. come on oh good come on get over there thank you all right I got my little air cleaner in there as a as a little wedge to hold my steering wheel while I glued it in place. Hang on, I need to retrieve that. All right, Mark, you weren't totally prepared for this video, were you? There we go. Get that out of the way. I had that propped in there to hold the steering wheel up while it uh, while it got uh, glued in place. But interior is kind of plain. Made some seat belts for it. Paint turned out pretty good. Not too bad. So I've got some little details to do in the firewall. Uh, I've got taillights to run on the baby on the back. Uh, we exited the exhaust out the back side of this baby. Out the rear. This one doesn't have the stock. The one-to-one -one car that I'm building doesn't have the gas tank out the back. But I didn't want to get into a lot of modification to mod this end of it. So we're just going to leave that alone. And uh, just slotted the back and had the exhaust run out the back side here. Um, it is what it is. You can only go so far. And I didn't want to go too crazy with this. <clears throat> but anyway, she's uh, looking pretty good, boys and girls. So I thought I'd give you a quick one. And, oh, a little tip if you guys want to uh, make uh, throttle return springs for your models, whether I've showed you this or not. But see if I can get up close on this throttle return spring on this. Without the camera going all focusy weird. So if you want to make a little throttle return spring like that, it's pretty easy to do. First, what you want to do is pick yourself up some 0.3 millimeter solder. You get a whole spool of it for I forget how much. is pretty cheap anyway. And then in my pile of junk here, off camera, is you find yourself, of course... Here I am, not totally prepared again. Find yourself a straight pin, like this little guy. And just whack yourself off a length. And uh, hold one in and wind it, around the, uh, wind it around the pin. Slide it off. You've got to handle it pretty good because remember, 0.3 millimeters is going to be, it's going to be pretty delicate. So you, you can't have uh, gorilla mitts when you're doing this. You've got to be pretty delicate with it. Um, just uh, cut off a section. Hang on to one end in the pin and just wind it around the spring and cut it off. You can give it a little stretch if you don't want the spring to look totally collapsed and 
drill a couple of holes, one in the manifold, one in the side of the carb, and crazy glue it in place, and voila, you got a return spring. Easy peasy. Anyway, just a little tip. Uh, what else we got to do? Uh, headlights were ready to go. Um, got lenses glued in last night. Uh, got windshield glued in. Uh, tail lights, I still have to take some Tamiya uh, clear red and put those on. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to run these tail lights or a couple of the round ones that I have on the, on the website. Um, I'll have to double check my reference photos. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, check my reference photos to see what kind of tail lights he's got on the back of this. I honestly can't remember right now. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, sorry about the delay, guys. But uh, it's a quick one this time. And hopefully the next one we've got it all buttoned up and say, you know what? That was easy. And uh, on with the next project. I got another project in mind that I want to do. <clears throat> I got some wheels I want to use in a particular car. And anyway, we'll leave that at that, and I'll, um, I don't have that ready to show you right now, but we'll show you maybe at the, uh, at the end when this baby's uh, all buttoned up and together. Anyway, on that note, guys, thanks for stopping by as always, and uh, take care out there, and we'll see you soon.